More than 80% of women in the Jirapa municipality are engaged in peasant farming. However, these women are unable to produce enough to cater for themselves and generate income due to erratic rainfall pattern and unfavorable land tenure system in the municipality. This has over the years compelled some women in the municipality to travel to the southern part of the country in search for non-existent and sometimes menial jobs. Available records from the Upper West Regional Department of Women and Children indicate that more than 2,000 women migrate from the Jirapa municipality to southern Ghana every year. The report further indicates that majority of the women end up working as head potters, otherwise known as kayaye under inhumane conditions. To help change the trend, the Jirapa Municipal Assembly presented 100,000 cashew seedlings freely to the Balanta and the Nandamwala communities. The cashew industry is expected to fetch Ghana 2.5 billion US dollars in the next five years. Government says it has devoted 1 billion Ghana cities towards the establishment of the Tree Crop Development Authority that will regulate the cashew industry and revamp that sector to contribute significantly to the country's gross domestic product. The distribution, which is under the Ghana Productive Safety Net Program, is an initiative to reduce poverty among the poorest of the poor in society, particularly women. The Municipal Chief Executive for Jirapa, Kristen Bomanya Amadu, led the distribution exercise on a 15-hectare land at Balanta. I will want to use this opportunity to commend the chief and people of Balanta for their commitment to this project. Today, we are handing over the seedlings to them to be planted on a 15-hectare land. I know that the 70,000 seedlings cannot all be planted on this 15-hectare land. And so... After we have done the planting on the piece of land, those that will be left will be distributed to individual farmers across the municipality. And I want to use this opportunity to appeal to my farmers that very soon after planting, we'll be entering into the dry season. And so I want to entreat all farmers who will have access to these seedlings that they should show all commitment to planting and make sure that all the practices, the cultural practices that are required of them to do to ensure that the seeds or the seedlings are fruitful, they should be able to do it. <laughs> These women are engaged on the 15-hectare cashew farm. Each of the over 100 women receive a daily wage of 12 Ghana cities. Some of them tell City Business News they have suspended their plans to travel down south for work. Only the some of the beneficiaries commended government for the initiative. You heard it all from the women that has just been interviewed. Uh, a lot of them used to travel from here to down south in search of similar projects to do or in search of what? Uh, just cashew collection from fields or farms. They also engage in other dubious uh, activities just to make what? Ends meet. But when we were fortunate enough that the government of Ghana, the assembly awarded us uh, this uh, project, 
I think the women have stayed home. Not a single woman has left the community. And they are making a ends meeting out of what? This particular project. <laughs> Reporting from Balanta here in the Jirapa municipality of the Upper West region, my name is Latif Mahama, City News.